All right. I got to go out to the fiver. Uh, I spent all day Sunday tracking down leaks. Uh, didn't winter over very well. I had a couple of spots where uh, ice got in and leaked. And um, I got them all fixed. So put in a new uh, turlet and fix the shower. However, we're in Colorado. It's springtime. There's weather coming in and it's going to be below freezing. So I did not re-winterize the RV. So we're on our way out there now. We're going to get her done. RV fix number 25. Here comes the weather. It's coming in now. So I got to get out there. Drain anything that might need to get drained. And I'm going to get some uh, food grade antifreeze, which is pink. And put it in the tanks. In case there's water or wastewater in there that needs to get fixed. Stressful times for the fiber dock. Almost there, getting to the uh, fiber before the weather sets in, before she freezes. So, it's coming in all across the front range. Over this camper. I'm hoping there's no busted water pipes. It'll be a miracle. Got down to 27 degrees last night. So it wasn't supposed to. It was supposed to be in the low 30s, and I had another day to get out of here. But got down to 27. All the pipes are full of water. I'm hoping that the ground, the heat from the ground, is enough to uh, keep the temperature inside the RV warm enough so the pipes don't freeze. We'll see. Rolling in. This is how it looks. Too shabby over here yet, but the weather's moving in. There she is. Quick look around. I don't see any leaks. That's a good sign.
Not a good sign. That's water. There's a little bit of something inside the trailer. I'm not sure what it is. I might have to wait until we uh, pressurize the system again. Uh, but now I'm going to undo the water here. I can't get it. Few twists and gush. I'm gonna assume that's a good sign because there's no crack and it didn't leak. So I think we may have averted disaster. I think. I think. There's about six gallons of water in there. Get it all out. Get from there. Dripping out of the system that we want. Well, at least we flushed the water heater out again. And there we go. This is food grade antifreeze, and we're gonna put it in sinks just to make sure nothing's in there. Nothing, no water is in the traps. We'll be good to go. Gonna fill up the traps. Get the water out of there, put it in the freezing. And last bit in the black tank. Bam. Alright. Well, the RV made it. Doesn't appear there's any leaks. So we're good to go. Uh, now we'll bring it back for the um, for the weekend. We'll put the heater in it and make sure there's any residual water. The uh, freeze won't uh, won't break any pipes. So, whoosh, problem averted.